currently I'm seeing a lot of people now who are dealing with symptoms of anxiety and depression you know, after going through COVID and also facing some of the trauma of what's been going on in the community as far as gun violence. People are more afraid now. In the African uh, American community, one of the diagnoses that's really overused is schizophrenia, when really it's not schizophrenia, and the, they're least likely to be diagnosed with depression and or anxiety or trauma. And a lot of times in the African-American community, people suffer small traumas. Small traumas are like little mosquito bites and you keep getting bit, 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 and then it grows. So we may be anxious or depressed, but we're so used to always being on guard in a fight or flight mode that we don't know that there, there's another way. Unfortunately, in the African-American community, especially when you're dealing with community help, most of people are forced to go into counseling and it's not a choice. I, I think that I'm really hopeful though that people are, some of the stigmas are dying out and you know, that people are finding therapists or therapists are, are getting training so that they do understand and can relate to, to our community.